Hi, good afternoon. How are you? It is Thursday, April 4th. I'm creating a little content uh, today. That's all I've been doing, either on my TikTok or on Facebook or Pinterest or even up on LinkedIn. Been creating content. I'm Kitra Marie, reside in St. Louis, Missouri, artist, writer, speaker, life, and a business coach. I uh, teach a lot of different art classes, teach how to um, paint through group paint painting, teach how to put a vision board together, which I am working on now, and this is why I've come on looking for an outside gig right now. Pardon the disheveledness, um, my 23-year-old pony needed her vet visit this morning, so I had to run out there real early, but I want to talk about this vision board and the importance of why you need one. And I did write about it on my blog the other day, Pretty in Pink, Perfect in Paisley. And, I, you know, we got some natural light going on here. Not a lot of filters, no makeup, because, like I said, I ran out to my horse this morning, and it doesn't matter. What's important is the content that I am sharing with you in order to boost algorithms um, gain new followers, hopefully new friends, some new clients. Um, the vision board class, private, I teach in my home here in St. Louis, Missouri, for creative-minded women who want more in their life, who cannot figure out where they went wrong, where they dropped the ball, where they can go in their next phase of their life. I'll be 63 in July. I've been working on myself. Um, Re-highlighted my hair because it just makes me feel good. Now I just need a tan. The weather here in St. Louis has just been absolutely terrible. But the vision board that I am working on right now, um, and I have several of them. The ones that's propped behind where the phone is right now for my camera. It's all about creating content, being able to earn a living off of that content, being very authentic to the dream that I'm trying to continue to build because it never stops. There are parts in your life that change and you'll get really close and then life happens and then it goes into another phase, but you need to stay on track. So the vision board that, again, is behind my phone, it's based on the horse business that I want. I want to be able to board a few horses. I want to be able to groundwork a few horses. I want to be able to have an overnight facility for people who are traveling with their horses and they just need a break. They just need to get the horse out of the trailer. They need to, like, stretch their legs, run their horse, you know, the good things that come with having a horse and needing those facilities. On top of the fact, I want to be able to teach on my property. I want to be able to have a little storefront, the line of merchandise that I create that I have put on hold one more time in this life. But you realize your dream begins with you. Nobody else. You can't wait on anybody else's timetable. You have to do whatever it is you need to do, even if it is kicking somebody to the curb for the 90th time. Um, disrespect is really hard to deal with when you are trying to put together a lifestyle. And those are things I teach, how to create a lifestyle. You know, knowing that your ability in what you are trying to achieve does take patience. Oftentimes it does take money. A lot of times, it's your voice stating over and over so the right people hear what your message is. And I have a glue stick in my hand. Um, so you, your dream can be unique. So you can have these limitless opportunities because you want to live healthy. You, you want more than just being headstrong and succeeding. You want to be able to break barriers. And those are all things I have on my vision board behind this phone. You know, art and soul. You know, maybe you're not creative like me, but you have a soul. What's in it? Do you even know anything about your soul contract? Do you know what you signed on for way before you even came into this earth? Gotta take my class to understand more about that one. You know, seeing places, you know, talking about 
where you've been and what you deserve because you have a mind and it is creative and you just want different than what you were told as a child, as a young person in your middle age. Maybe you're going through a divorce and you don't know what the hell is next. Maybe your kids have all grown and left and you're like, okay, now what? I have concentrated all my life into raising these kids. Now what do I have left? In a video I did yesterday, it was about what's your stuffing? You know, what is your stuffing? I'm all about family. I am all about tradition. I am all about being in the outdoors and being healthy and paying attention to what matters to your organs. Because if you do not have your health, you can't achieve anything in this life. And although at almost 63, you know, I love my horse and I want a few more. I want to remain active. I do not want to veg out on the couch and rot away. And as I am putting this new vision board together, which is based on, again, writing more content, you know, breakout brands, being able to be outdoors. You know, I'm all about my coffee. I really am. I'm all, I'm all about my, my horses. I'm all about food. So this particular vision board is going to be about a working kitchen because I want to start my photography again. That's how I kind of got started in this whole thing, if you didn't know. You know, I'd get in my car and I would go miles and miles till I had to turn around and come back to the miserable life I was living then. You know, and you have to stop and ask yourself, if you're not happy... Who's in your surroundings that aren't making you happy? Because I refuse to be miserable. I'm almost at that place mentally where I'm just done. I'm tired. I can't do this anymore. Where I was 11 years ago when I ended something because somebody was being so rude and disrespectful. Not wanting what I wanted or what I needed to be to be successful, to be happy, to be creative, to to have a lifestyle. You know, it's not about making a million dollars. It's not about being famous. It's about being true to your core. So with this vision board, it is going to be based on having a working, functioning kitchen. Because I love to create when I am in my kitchen. Whether it be food, whether it be content, whether it be video, whether it be photography. You know, I'm I'm working on writing again. Like I said, my blog, I started it again. Pretty and Pink, Perfect and Paisley. You know, find your favorite magazine and cut out the words that mean something to you. Those words, that they, they resonate within your soul, within your mind. You know, create. I want to speak. I want to inspire. I want to transform people's lives, and that's what I do when I'm teaching my vision board class. You know, I want meaningful connections in my personal life, in my working life, in my outside horse life. I want people that when they hear my name, Kitchen Marie, they have this place in their heart that they go, oh, we know her. First of all, there aren't very many Kitchen Maries out there, but I'm hoping that I am touching people's lives by what I do, what I say, transforming and making memorable experiences. It's going on my vision board. It is. It's going on my vision board. You know, being the dreamer, but yet having reality check. We all need to check ourselves. We all need to look to see what we're doing and how we are affecting other people's lives. Because if you're a miserable person, you have no business being in anybody else's life. Don't suck the life out of somebody else because you choose not to be happy. Happiness is an inside job, just like your health. It's an inside job. You know, say yes to better. Yes to better. So I am working on this vision board. It'll probably take me two hours because it's like pieces of a puzzle. And you put it in a simulated way that you want it to show up in your life. 
it's important to have dreams no matter what your age is. It's important to have aspirations. Just because you did something when you were younger and you were success at it, that does not mean at this point in your life, whatever your age is, that you cannot continue to have those same type successes. It's just important. You know, if you like to travel, get in your car and go. You know, if, if you want to start a new hobby, learn how to start the new hobby. It is so healthy for your mind, you know, your emotions. When you enrich your life by taking a class, when you are learning something outside of what you know that you are not stuck, you have choices. When you convince yourself that you are stuck, you are saying you no longer have the freedom to choose. And as long as you are alive, you always have the freedom to choose. So I hope this little 11-minute video on this 4-4-2-4 day helps you in a lot of different ways. Again, I apologize for the look, but, you know, you can't be the pretty people all the time. And I was out with my 1,200-pound pony this morning. So I am Kitra Marie. I am an artist, a writer, a speaker, a life, and a business coach. I teach a variety of art classes. Life is short. Grab the brass ring. Learn something new. Step out of yourself and really pay attention to what you are doing to the other people in your life. Again, if you're a miserable cow, stay the way, uh, hell away from people. You have no business being involved with people that you are going to suck the life out of and drag them down. So fate turns on a dime. You decide what side of the coin you want to be on. And if you want to take one of my classes, reach out kitranmarie at gmail.com. Take care, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.